Hello guys, and this is Chirodip once again, and you are watching Code Java tutorial series. So this is the part 15 of this tutorial, and in this tutorial we're gonna learn about abstraction in Java. So what is abstraction actually? In a small word, you can say that abstraction means uh, to concentrate in your own business, not to interfere in other business or and all. <coughs> So before going to the coding, uh, let's have a look uh, the theoretical concept of this abstraction and why we use it and what its features and how can we use it. So <coughs> let's have a look. Now the main features of abstraction in Java is abstract means actually con concentrate on essential things, not on everything. That means. Uh, we can specify some specific things let uh, let's say we have to go to suppose from place a to place b and if there is a uh, there is another place that is c and it's not uh, so it's not necessary to visit that place that place that is name is as c so your aim is to move from a to b so you will be moving from a to b only you will not uh, take or you will not visit any place that is come between that uh, A and B. So you will concentrate on the specified things and not on everything. Now in order to get expertization we use abstraction. You are the you are the person that that knows that how to travel how to travel from A to B in a shortest way or you know the shortest path and you know the time you know the route you know the everything of the route a to b but uh, you don't know the route of a to c or a to d or something like that so you are expert of that route a to b now we can use abstraction for that expertization in order to get expertization we can use abstraction now let's have a in a look according to our programming language while designing a class in java or any object oriented programming language a mainly we will focus on java so while designing a class a class can have diverse information suppose a class is uh, having a class is named as shape so shape can have any sort of uh, information about any sort of shape like a rectangular shape it may be a square shape it may be a circular shape any sort of thing so a class can have diverse information and if there is only one person is designing that class he would not be in a position to provide that quality as team of experts in corresponding field can produce so i am designing a class now i am designing a class named as shape so the next thing it will be uh, getting uh, that uh, getting in your mind that being a programmer you don't know what are what are your clients gonna do with your class suppose a client is having a requirement to build a shape of a rectangle another client is having another requirement to build a shape of a square like this so you don't know how that particular class will get implemented according to your client requirement so it's quite impossible that uh, you you can't provide all the necessary details in your class you can provide the interface you can provide the switch you can provide the switch board to your client and according to your client requirement he can or she can access the dot switch and get a proper output one developer cannot be expert in all fields he can be expert in specified field he can't be expert in all fields so this is a very deepest concept of using abstraction now so by using abstract he would choose only knowing areas leaving unknown areas as blank as abstract so if you are using an abstract class we would choose only known areas that is if a user provides you a rectangle parameters then you will provide the shape if a user provide you the color of the rectangle then you will pro you will draw the rectangle you have to get a proper input to give a proper output so without getting a proper input you can't give a proper output 
abstract means incomplete or unimplemented it's just declared it's just defined it's not implementation abstract can't be implemented it's incomplete okay now for abstract class we can't create an object that is a very vital point actually we have seen we have created lots and lots of objects of class so in my previous tutorials but hence now we can't create an object of the class abstract if you are using abstract class we can't create an object for that particular class object can be created only in concrete class concrete class means that that is not having any sort of abstract keyword or something like that so you know in order to create a object we have to we have to specify that class as concrete that must the class must be concrete we can't create an object in a class of abstract okay now if minimum one member of a class is abstract then it is mandatory to declare that class abstract suppose uh, you have declared one class that is a public class a and you have defined one variable as a abstract or a member or a method as abstract so that class will fall into the trap of abstraction okay so the class will be named as abstract class and you have to declare that class as abstract if we dip if you declare a member as abstract but not declare a class as abstract then you will get a compile time error if we you if you are using abstract keyword then you have to define your class as abstract this is pretty important we can keep implemented members inside a class then naming that class as an abstract is optional now we can keep those implemented members that is the implemented members which we are cre creating inside a class inside a, any class sort of and naming naming that class as an abstract is optional the class which we are implementing and which we are using of that abstract class then we can name th that class also as an abstract or you can just leave it a blank okay you can just give it a concrete class so in order to declare the abstract class you have to have a abstract member okay so having abstract member it is mandatory to declare that class as abstract now for restricting on uses of non static member actually we declare class as abstract because with that, because that can be instant uses non static member uses can be restricted okay and we declare those class as abstract because of that restriction we want to restrict our shape class from our client so that one client can't modify our class so we can use the method or the keyword as abstract and for that the restriction will be provided so that's the basic introduction part of the abstraction in java uh, from next tutorial we gonna code this abstract class and we will see what's its features in more depth and how we'll we can implement how, or how we can use this feature in uh, in order to code or how we will get benefit from this particular sort of theoretical advantage what we have said to you right now so that's it for now and thanks for watching